Hey guys, welcome back. I've made a few videos since I've last seen you, but none of them turned out well. So, sorry I'm a little late this week. Um, we're getting to the point, unfortunately, where we really need to start concentrating on putting together jewelry um, for the upcoming shows. So, I'm not really sure how many more how-to videos we're going to be able to do um, for at least a couple of months. So today, I am making something that was a huge hit at my last show. Southwestern, obviously. And um, I'm going to try and make some more of those. So we made a bunch of canes that I've showed you how to make. I really want a leaf cane, but I really wanted it a translucent. This has got a lot of black in it. So for now, I'm just going to lay this on. Just lay a little bit on a sheet here. Because I don't know how much I'm going to like this. Because it's got so much black in it. My other leaf. Let's see. My other leaf was a little bit more um, translucent and white. But we're going to try it anyways, right? We've made it. It doesn't look too, too bad. We're just going to make it a little smaller. So basically, I just took a base of pearl and the cool thing about this earring isn't as much as the shape is adding a little piece of finding, a silver finding to the top. It seems to bring it all out. So that's what we're going to try and do. So I'm just stretching this to make it thin. Okay, and then obviously you want your top thin, but do you want your top big? Mm-hmm. All right, we'll do it that way. And then this way we can make this thinner. I'm going to cut it in half here and see which one I like better. I like I like this being thinner on here. So we're just gonna go this way. Okay. And I'm gonna find just some translucent and white to put on the bottom of this. And I literally just took some out. You know, I also have hmm. I also have this brown leaf. that I could use as well. So we're just going to have a little smorgasbord here, right? And then I'll have to go find what I did with that little that little piece I had of just translucent and white. Oh, I think that's going to end up being it right there. Boy, I don't know how I lose things so quickly. It's like I do so many things at once that it's very easy for me to lose everything. Okay, so I don't want this whole piece. And we're just doing just a little, just a little slice. Yeah, it hasn't been a really good week for videos. I've just not sure what's going on. There's a lot of stuff going on here at home. And I literally think it's starting to affect my work. So that's why I'm just going to kind of hang out and 
start making some jewelry and hopefully that'll spark up you know it'll spark up something in me okay so let me grab that translucent I know it's here somewhere oh it's right in front of me and it's going to kind of give me a little bone a little bone look right here which will tie into the southwestern and this little bone look is just uh, do I want to cover it all though all right I'm gonna save that that's gonna be for another one I think the bones gonna be too much on top of pearl I'm basically just wasting pearl so I'm gonna do a couple slices of this but I will make it on another set of earrings. Again, that way I'm not wasting it. The pearl. And these earrings I usually make two-sided. So the design is going to be on both sides. Okay. So we have that for our next one. And then we're going to work on this. So, on this one, we're just going to take some of these little circles here that we made. I don't know if I put this video up. I think I did. Just some circles with some nice bright southwestern colors in the middle. That makes it nice when it just pulls itself right off. But <coughs> this we're not going to go too thick, but not too thin because we will be we will be sanding the top. I guess when you live in the desert, you gotta make southwestern stuff because everybody just seems to enjoy them. Gonna do one more. So I hope you guys are all well. It's so hot out here. Um, we're still dealing with that same brush fire. It's like 86% contained. And I always believe that containment meant, you know, it's 80%, 86% the fire is out. Well, no, it doesn't work that way. Um, the containment is just basically it's surrounded so they've contained it into its spot so we're at 86 as this morning um, yesterday I started getting clouds it's really fun when you can actually see a cloud forming in front of your eyes I will go for a clear sky and then you'll just see like just this white mist in the air way way up high and then you just keep watching it and then it slowly forms into clouds so it's kind of cool to watch that happen and yesterday apparently I can't say close to LA because LA doesn't really get that much rain like that but that trip that I took to Laughlin last week um, we had to go through Barstow and Needles, Newberry Springs, and just a bunch of different spots. And they were the ones that got like almost two inches of rain per hour. And it missed us. Always misses us. 
when we first moved up here, there weren't very many houses. And we used to get the rains all the time. I mean, every summer we'd get the monsoons. And they were just so cool. Because you can go from like a sunny day to cloudy and pouring down rain in just like within hours. I don't know why I'm putting these on here too, but I am. I think I'm going to grab some turquoise blue as well and put them in here. I'm just kind of putting these anywhere. But I think today is going to be the same and tomorrow. So I'm hoping in one of those days we'll get some of that thunder and lightning. My daughter hates it. She literally hates thunder and lightning. I love it. Ever since I lived in Prescott, Arizona, I have a, an appreciation for rain and thunder. Okay, so the next thing I want is just some, let me go for some turquoise blue. So let me grab some and I'll be right back. All right, I even have a flower. <clears throat> this flower I made, I don't think I have it up yet. Maybe I'll put it up. It just didn't turn out quite the way I wanted it. But here's some blue. And I got some blue and yellow. I'm not sure if I like that. And I'll be making different ones of these. No. I want to go a little smaller. So this might make one, maybe two pairs of earrings. And then I'm just going to keep going and using up these canes. I'll show you the cutter we're using and I actually know the number by heart on this one I sell quite a bit of them it'll be 498 and I think it's arrowhead 4 This placement doesn't matter because when you cut it you're literally cutting halfway through the pattern anyways so I'll we'll just put that there maybe one here one there so all these things that I'm showing you should be cane that we've already made so that way you can go back and look at some of the cane that we did if you want to try it and if you don't like it that's okay too can't believe it's already going to be July next week just amazing how fast this year is going. Ah. It's pretty thin, so I'm having problems getting it to stick to anything but me. I'm going to just go one right here. That way it won't really matter what I what I use to close it up. Alright, so now we're going to grab some of this fun, 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 fun. This is just a spiral cane. So basically you're just going to add a strip of translucent white and black and just roll it like a spiral. And I sharpened, or I, I just made one edge sharp. So I made it into a triangle instead of a circle. And that gives us that little square look here. And this is old. This is really old. This isn't something we made recently.
And then I want to make a veneer, a floral veneer. So you know what? I'm going to show you the veneer that I have. I may have already, but what would you do with a translucent floral veneer? Would you make earrings with it? Would you do a half and half, like half of it flowers? Um, half of it a solid color? Because I really don't know how to use this. So it's been sitting here. You know, I'm going to leave it this big. Okay. So we played with it for a little bit. And on this we're going, uh, we're going really thin. I don't know why that didn't go through. It's just like a triangle part. And we're just going to lay that over here and there. I don't know why this blade's having a hard time cutting thin slices because they are pretty darn thin. And because it's thin and translucent, you still see the colors underneath. Maybe one here, one here, one here, one here. So we'll do four more. I'll make it just a little smaller for those pieces. And when you put resin on this, that pearl is just going to really come out. So I don't want to lose all that pearl. And you can tell how old this is. It's just cracking on us like crazy. So it looks like I'm going to have to make some more. Okay, so that's a nice thin one right there. Set one there. And I think I wanted that one right there. And that's good. <clears throat> and then that we're going to do later. And we'll do pretty much the same exact thing. So now you're just going to gently put these so that they're flattened. And then I'm going to turn it over, and I'm going to do the same on the other side. Yeah. I keep testing my right hand to see how my wrist is doing, and yeah, it doesn't take long before it starts hurting. I hope that finishes soon. It's been quite a few weeks. Okay, so now we're going to come on this side. 
and we're going to do the same. Oh, I didn't add any flowers onto this. Yeah, I'm not going to do flowers on this one. Maybe I'll do flowers on that one. Okay, so again, we're just going to place all the elements here and there. can pick out wherever you want these to go <clears throat> you can make them bigger or smaller And then, yes, I will probably resin both sides. different here. Okay, I'll add a little bit of that feather. I knew that was going to happen. I'm trying to get it so it's not facing the same way. Although it doesn't really matter again. That's how it ends. And we're just going to do one more, I think. Okay, I'm going to add some more blue. blue that gives us the little pop. Okay, and then we'll take some of that blue that we made into a triangle. We'll just add a couple of those. Last night it was cool. Me and my daughter went out to dinner. We have this place called the Yard House. I don't know if it's regional. I don't know if it's something that's around the nation I have no idea but 
I got a Korean ribeye last night. And holy moly, it was so good. I don't know what sauce they put on it. A little spicy, but n not enough to, you know, to where you're burning your mouth. And it came with some fries that are covered in a garlic sauce or sprinkled with garlic sauce and Parmesan sauce and some kind of orange sauce, Korean obviously. Um, oh my god, it was so good. But I came back with so much steak. It was like a 20 ounce steak. And um, it was so good. But on our way home, and this is the second time this has happened. I went to Olive Garden with my son, his wife, and the grandkids. I think it was last year. And it was on the same road and everything. But we start driving home and we just see this thing whooshing in the sky. It's on my Facebook page. I put the video up. Um, it's just this big orange light that was just speeding. And I pretty much knew what it was, but I had never seen it from the moment of launch. I always see it when it's in the air. And so we got the whole launch of the um, Starlink last night. It was pretty cool to watch. Although, I'm not an Elon Musk fan. I think his technology is a little scary. And, um, yeah. But just to see that in the air was pretty darn cool. So, if you have my Facebook everything, you can take a look on there and you'll see it. It's like a two minute clip. Okay, and I'm just gonna go little. This one's a lot different than the other one. I'm not going quite as slow. But again, I just picked the side that I like best and that's all. And like I said, I wanna leave some white. But yeah, it was nice getting out with her and hanging out. She's not a travel nurse anymore. She took a break. And so now she's just pretty much per diem. She goes in a certain amount of hours. I think in like six weeks they have to have a certain amount of hours. So she's doing that right now. Which is okay, but I'd really love her to either get back by taking a position or something because... <clears throat> you know, nurses make good retirements. So, I don't know if she's on any kind of a 401k or something, but I sure hope so. Alright guys, so we have got it here. So now we're just going to smooth this out. And you can see where it's not quite in there. And trust me, you want to get it all in there before you sand. Because if you don't, there is a good chance that you'll sand right through the design because they're so thin. So just go through them and like this right here. I didn't need to go that far down. And yeah, you can see that I'm smearing it. But again, if you're sanding these, that smear is going to come right off. And you are going to see that beautiful pattern underneath. So, honestly, don't worry about smearing when you do that. As long as you're sanding, you're okay. Alright, so now we're going to turn that back around. I don't know which one I like better. kind of like that. But then I kind of like that. So, I am using the Cutter 498. This is a 1 and 3 quarter. So I'm just going to look at this and see which side I'm going to like better. So this one I can get two orange, two blue, as well as that. And this one, yeah, these are a little scattered out a little bit more. Okay, so I'm going to pick this side.
So if I do that right there, I can get an orange and a blue and get all the elements in there and still some of the pearl. And on this one, let's see if I can get close to it. I don't get all that blue. Alright, we're just going to put it right there. And then I will use that as another small shape. But look at how cute. Well, hopefully they're cute to you. They're cute to me. Same, just got these little cute little southwestern earrings. You know, you could do that side too if you want. Okay, so we're gonna throw these in the oven. I'm not even going to worry about making any more right now so we can get this video up and out. So I'm going to put this in the oven and I'll come back um, after sanding and resining. And then I'll put them together in a pair of earrings. So we'll see you then. We are back with our finished pieces here, guys. So I did not drill a hole last before talking to you again. So I'm going to do that now and then I'll put these up so you can see them. These I haven't sanded yet, and I'm missing one of these here. There it is. So let me stick a hole in it. And then I can show you. Now, a lot of times I know people have problems with putting the holes consistently so what I do usually is I put both earrings back to back like that this one I didn't but usually I'm pretty good at getting the holes in there but if you ever are in an area or in a dilemma on where the hole is just drill your first hole and then drill through that hole and you will get even holes okay so, then we need a good old jump ring. I'm using 8 gauge, or 18 gauge, 8 millimeter. These might be a little too thick. I might have to go back and put in some 20 gauge. Because, oh, and these are closed. Are these all closed? Okay, well, those are closed jump rings. Those are for finishing necklaces before I put on the clasp. I do a, usually a, a jump ring that's closed so it doesn't come off of the chain. Um, this is 7 gauge. I don't know. It might be too small. And these are 20 gauge. I like the 18 gauge because obviously they don't open up as easy. But we'll see how this works. I might need an 18 gauge or 18. Oh my gosh, Irene, an 8 millimeter. Just because I'm putting a charm on it. So I've got all these really cool leaf charms. And it's always trying to figure out what you want to put on it. These are a little small. So I know which ones I like. They got a little bit of blue in them. These right here. These are like my, my favorite. <clears throat> I got these at Hobby Lobby a long time ago. But they make still carry them. I don't know, it just adds something to the piece. And 
And let me get an ear. Alrighty, so we got a couple with balls there. Got so many different ones. <coughs> and I need to order some more. Alright, so on this one, because of the way the hook is, we need one little teeny piece. And that is going to go from the top of the earring to the post. So we're going to take four out. I'm doing this off camera, guys. I'm just opening up the, opening up the jump ring here. You really need great pliers, and I don't have the best suppliers to do this. Oops, I didn't realize that I opened that one. <clears throat> yeah, these pliers are horrible. Okay, so you can basically hang the earrings just like this. Here, let me put this on and I'll show you. Okay, just like that. So that could be your earring. Or... When you add that little feather, it just gives you something added to it. And I just seem to like those better. So we're going to put these on here. Okay, and then this is the closest to me. Oh, it's a black writing. I don't like the black writing on these at all. But give you an idea what they look like when they're hanging up. I don't know if you can see that really well. But there are the earrings. So just adding that little 3D element kind of makes it really nice. This is a another pair that I did earlier. These are a little bit smaller. So you can see how that feather hangs on both. Oh, they fell off. Okay, they usually don't fall off. But I've got these little thingamajiggers on the bottom. So these look just a little different. I use a different... Um, feather on these and I used a bale on those which I may end up using a bale on those I'm not sure but I really like the way those turn out so I hope you like those <clears throat> and then these are going to be the same these are a little darker but I mean you can throw a long one on here you can throw some short ones Again, let's see, 
with these you can't see them much so I may just leave these blank These are all pretty dark. Hmm. I love these. I love these. I just still haven't figured out how to use them. And I don't think that would look good with them. You know, but I've got all different kinds of leaves in here that you can use. Or again, you can use it blank. Or <coughs> even turn around and use gold with these but they don't really match up with the with the southwestern theme and I don't think I have yeah I don't have any feathers that are gonna match that one so it'll take away from everything anyway so we'll probably just leave those blank but anyways, that is it on those. And I think on the next video, we're going to go easy and fun. We're going to use some alcohol ink. Okay, so there's our earrings, guys. I hope you like them. I'll take a better picture of these before I end this video. And that way you can see how they look. So we're just going to kind of push these down and hopefully they'll stay on for a while so there so I want to do at least four more of those I've got two um because yeah they sold really well so we're gonna try and make a couple more of those I want to make some ghosts and stuff for Halloween because my first show is in October and then yeah I guess I gotta start thinking about Christmas stuff too so we might make some ornaments later so hope you like that, guys, and we will see you a little later. Talk to you then. Bye.